Get ready for a very special, super duper math class. We're going on a field trip where learning math is tons of fun. Our destination is the math park. Today we're going to look at the fracture. Uh, hello, Janet. Oh, oh, hi, Ranger Riff. Hi, everybody. What's the matter, Janet? You're not showing your normal pearly whites. Is something wrong? Yeah. My painting class starts in just a few minutes, and I realize I don't have any green paint. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Not so bad? Not so bad? Tell me, Ranger Riff, what color is the grass? Green. And what color are the leaves on the trees? Green. And what color is green jello? Uh, I think green. Yeah, well, most of the time. So how can you tell me that not having green paint for your painting class is no big deal? Oh, it's not a big deal. Because I can show you how to make green paint, and it's easy. Really? Sure. I've got a little movie on my cell phone. Show you how to do it. Oh, I'd love to see it. Cool. First, you take one-third of a cup of yellow paint. How can you tell if you've got one-third of a cup? You use a measuring cup. See, the measuring cup has fractions on it. There's one-third of a cup. Then you pour the yellow paint into a bowl. Next, you'll need one-third of a cup of blue paint. And I'll use the measuring cup. Right. You fill it up to the one-third mark. Pour the blue paint into the bowl with the yellow paint. And then you get a spoon and stir until the yellow and blue are mixed really well. And look what color you get. Green. That is so cool. But how much green is it? Well, let's do the math. We started with one-third cup yellow paint and one-third cup blue paint. So that's one-third plus one-third. What does that add up to? Well, what do you think? Hmm. Gee, I really don't know. Well, let's watch the next part of our movie. Watch what happens when we pour the green paint back into the measuring cup. What fraction mark does the paint come up to on the measuring cup? It's two-thirds. So that's one-third plus one-third equals two-thirds. That's right, you got it. You know, some people would have said that one-third plus one-third would have equaled two-six because they would have added the numerator and the denominator. Well, it's a common mistake. Well, I understand how that happens. But we're adding thirds, so the denominator stays the same. One-third plus one-third equals two-thirds. Thanks, Ranger Riff. I have just enough time to mix my green paint. See you later. So long. Good luck to you.